Hi guys, Trouble 46 here. Welcome yourselves back to Valentino Rossi the game. Let's continue with career mode. We're at Catalonia. And again, we have changed bike. This time, we will be racing on the Aprilia. So, let's see what we can do on this bike. And uh, hopefully, we should be able to do quite well. Because I do like the... Uh, I love the Catalonia circuit. So, let's hope that we can have a good race. And uh, see what we can do on the Aprilia. So, sorry guys that I haven't put a career video up for a little while. Um, I've been really, really busy. Um, but yeah, finally back on track. And finally putting out some uh, more career stuff. So, we're up to third now. Cause just got ahead of Lorenzo. Marquez and Rossi are out front. Can we get either of them? Is Rossi going to go up the inside of Marquez? No, we hit the back of him a little bit. So, we've got a bit wide. Lorenzo's going to come back underneath as is... Well, a few other people. <laughs> Vinales, Pedroza and Ian only up the inside of them. Back up to third. Marquez is still just ahead of Rossi. Rossi in second. Of course, Rossi is back in the championship having, after having some really good results um, at the last couple of races where he, he got second and then he got first at Mugello after qualifying on pole. In the game, that is, of course. So let's say we can continue doing some uh, good races. Trying to go up the inside of Marquez there. Uh, I think Marquez will just have the speed on the outside to keep it in front. He does. Oh, gun wide. Is Lorenzo going to come underneath? No, he's not. But we've got some good, good drive there. Can we get underneath Rossi? No. Let's see what we can do out the last corner. Oh. Okay, so we got some really good speed out of the corner. We've got a really good exit in the slipstream of Marquez. Rossi will be in our slipstream. Rossi is... We're in between both of them. But now we're in front into the first corner. Let's see if we can pull away or if they will try and attack us again. Let's see what we can do. They're not... Trying to attack me at the moment. They're not that far behind. But we should. Oh, going wide, going wide. They're going to come back underneath. Oh, he's tried to, Marquez. It's just for his Honda there. Oh, he's trying to go around the outside. That's not going to work. Rossi may try re-overtaking him. Yes, he has. He's overtaken him. So Rossi is up to second. Marquez will probably try and get back in front as soon as. So guys, one of my uh, pre-season predictions that I've done, done a uh, prediction video a while ago before the MotoGP 2016 season even started. And finally, one of my predictions has finally come true. And that was, uh, I did say that Andre Iannone would win his first race this year. And he's done it. He's done it at uh, Austria. The Ducatis were just unbeatable there. We didn't know whether it was going to go to Dovi or Iannone or if um, they were going to have a repeat of Argentina. But uh, no, Iannone rode superbly, as did Dovi, but Iannone just having the, uh, the speed in the end to take his first ever victory in the MotoGP class. And Ducati's first victory since 2010 with Casey Stoner. So like I'm really like happy that Ian One got it, got the win because I do like Ian One. I think he's a really good rider. I know that he has made some stupid uh, decisions this year and uh, of course Ducati are getting rid of him, but with him winning that race, I think that uh it's pretty much all forgiven now. And it does make you wonder whether Ducati are thinking have we got rid of the wrong rider? Um but, you know, this, they're both really talented, really strong riders. Dovi's really good at developing a bike. And Iannone, of course, he's younger than Davizioso. And uh, he's very fast. So it will be interesting to see what he can do on that Suzuki. Of course, Suzuki will be getting a race winner to ride their bike. So, back to the race now. We are... Still in the lead, we're pulling away slowly from uh, Marquez and Rossi. They did try taking the lead back, but we soon got back in front of them. 
And we should be alright. Oh, gone very wide there. They're very, very close. We don't want to make any more mistakes. So we get downhill. That was okay through there. Just a the final corner to go. They're really close, but we do get a better exit at this corner. So we should be fine. And that is going to be a win on the Aprilia. Ahead of Marquez and Rossi. Closely followed by them both. So another decent result for Rossi there. That should help him again in the championship. We did do the fastest lap. By 1.1 seconds. Championship wise Rossi has closed up to his teammate Lorenzo who's in second. So those two really close but we are pulling away in the lead. Alright, so the, the next race is um, it's a Yamaha R1 race, but when they brought out the, the patch to fix the AI and the various bugs and that, one of the uh, the details that they put down was that they had um, improved the Yamaha R1M um, race AI to make them a lot quicker than what they used to be, because they were very, very easy to beat. So let's see what they're like now, because... If they're anything like the, the normal career AI, then that's really good because the AI career is a bit more challenging now. But this lot, at the moment, don't really seem that difficult. I mean, look at that. Closing on the leader. We're up to third. Kind of cocked that up a little bit. But we're in third. He's gone really wide and we're actually in the lead now. So it didn't take us long to get in the lead at all. So have the AI really been improved dramatically? I don't think so. I don't even know if they've been improved at all. They don't feel quicker. Um, yeah, the, I can't say that I can see a difference in the Yamaha R1M racing AI. So we may have to make a race of it ourselves by uh, oh, going wide, going very wide. Are they coming underneath? We've gone wide, We've gone wide, they're, they're still not coming underneath. Alright, let's uh, just poodle around. baldazar has gone up to second, Rossi down to third. Alright, so we're in the lead. Oh no, there's a, there's a problem with my engine. I'm going to have to short shift and can't use full throttle. Oh no, they've, they've come past. Whatever are we going to do? We're down to fifth from the lead. And the, the engine's broken. We're going to have to give it a minute to fix itself. Oh, it's starting to rev a bit now. Yep, yeah, we're back up to second. <laughs> no, we're not. We're fourth. Rossi's gone very wide. Oh, been hitting the rear. We're fourth. Oh, Rossi's still there even though he went off track. Third. Oh god, we're getting being hit side to side. Like they're playing tennis with me. So we're in fourth. Engine's working fine now. I'm trying to attack. They've gone very wide again. They keep going really wide at that corner. If that's how they've improved the AI for the uh, the R1M race, then um, yeah, that's they failed. The inside of Rossi. We're third again. Just gonna get more Bedelli. And then Baldazari, who's trying to clear off, so at least we got a little bit of uh, pushing we're going to have to do. Of course, Fanati obviously still in the game. He has um, parted company with VR46 all together now, so Romano Fanati no longer a VR46 Academy rider at all. Um, obviously, he had. Uh, yeah, a bit of a run-in with um, the team and uh, being really aggressive to them. So he's no longer part of VR46 and uh, he is being replaced by uh, Lorenzo De La Porta from, I think, Silverstone um, is when De La Porta is going to be taking over the Sky VR46 um, Moto3 KTM. So I don't know what that means for Fanati in... Because he was meant to be moving up to Moto2 with the uh, VR46 team. But obviously that's not going to happen for him now. So he's going to have to obviously try and find another team. And uh, 
be interesting to see what other teams think about what he's done and if they're actually willing to have a rider like that in their team. Because he is a quick rider on his day, but obviously there's no need to be really, really aggressive towards your own team. So anyway, we're on the final lap of uh, the Yamaha R1M race at Mizano. I just wish that you could do the R1M race at more than one track. Oh, gone off track again. Just last sector to go. And then we are done. Oh, bit wide there. Yeah, so the AI on the R1M race is doesn't feel like it's been improved at all. They're still really easy. Um, and I could, in fact, mess about during that race and still win the race by probably about one and a half, two seconds. Let's see what it was over the line when the times come up. Yeah, 1.7 seconds. Anyway, guys, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave it a like. Subscribe to my channel for more content. And I shall see you guys in the next video. See you.